Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We're gonna go on a longer veteran mission this time. Normally I wouldn't send someone out when they have 59 stress, but he can remove 12 of his own stress every turn. We're going for the big muns, for reasons, I don't know, in case we need to buy some trinkets or just upgrade people whenever they get higher or whatever. So we're bringing Cash Calf. She's only ranked 2. Basically, just gonna have her use Protect on the Leopard. So that he can actually take damage. I don't want him to die, but he's just so much self-healing. And she has healing. And she has healing. If it's all on one target, I think it would be really easy to handle. Especially considering his protections. I don't think those stack. We are, of course, running full Fasting Seals. So I think we're just gonna buy a bunch of torches. I was going to run the sun ring on our leper, but we're going to the cove on a long mission, so that means we're probably going to run into giant crabs at some point, and they stun and arterial pinch bleeds, so I'm assuming this would be pretty damn good for him. As such, we're going to get a stack and a half of torches instead of just a stack. It's a long mission, so three shovels, two keys. Uh, I guess our two pinch could get out of hand. So now we have tons of bandages, too. I forget anything else this time. We're not buying food. We got the shovel. That stuff. That thing. That stuff. Okay. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. If only this place was the Warrens. This place is so nice to explore there. There's so much backtracking in these places. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So there's going to be less backtracking if we go this way first or something? Maybe? I don't know. Treasure! Wait, I should have the Antiquarian. Wait, no, she's doing it. Hey, we got food anyway. Antiquarian, you're gonna loot things. I'm going to try my best to remember this time. Oh, and she's got accuracy for days. I was gonna put Wilbur's uh, flag on her, but then I realized she has 110% accuracy. So now she has 130% accuracy, which means she ignores 30 dodge on enemies. Like, these enemies don't have any dodge when she's attacking. She just has the base 10% chance to miss. Protect me. And now he's stronger. And you can... Well, hell, I think they all disease. Stuns. Shoot the one in the back. Decimated. 21. Oh, he had 15 health. I was like, was that perfect? Doesn't even take damage. Two and two. The things with 75% protection. Brian. Hopefully no diseases. I don't think we can actually fix those at the moment. Blight would probably be pretty good against these guys. He buffs. And you already stunned this one, so stun this one. Yeah? Yeah! Shoot the other one. My thought process for this was basically tons of heals, Antiquarian makes money, she kills the back line, he kills the front line. So hopefully that works out in practice. He's stunned. Should we just go for the finish on this guy? Three to six. He can actually one-shot this thing now. Press this and he did advantage. it. Give them no quarter. Um, I'm trying out her rallying flare in case we run into crabs or something, just to clear stuns, mark targets if we need it later. It's more torches, debuff resist. I've never actually used that ability before, but I've heard it's pretty good, so... Stab that thing. Look at you actually hitting things. Bleed. Finish it. 
As the fiend falls, he did it. A faint hope blossoms. Get yourself. Also, I noticed it like in the last yesterday's supposed videos, but uh, the uh, Vestal healing chalice thing actually reduces her chance to stun enemies. I don't know how I just kind of like, ooh, speed increase. That mustn't do anything else. Okay, so it is on everybody. May we find victory. 18% debuff. This would be amazing for the Siren. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I don't know if we should touch this. I don't think we should touch that. Don't have holy water. I think that's what you use on those. Surprise! Protect me. Oh, that's right. You should be taking care of your stress. But he does so much damage, it's so hard to prioritize other things. So they can bleed and he just moves our position. Hit that one, I guess. And very bad. I think this self-protection might clear her guard, though. Only last one round. 11 and 12. I wish I'd noticed how hard he hit before. I probably would have tried using lepers more often. Or rather, I definitely would have. It just seemed like they were really tanky, but they didn't have any way to make the enemies focus them, so... The tankiness seemed kind of wasted. How dare you move him. Protect regardless. And now you can mace bash. Crit 23. Crit 21. Exactly where she called it. Dodge? If only you could move faster. I know I could have moved her back, but then she wouldn't have crit that guy and killed him. Six. Look at her actually doing things. Two. Resist everything. Seaward Slash. What is his bleed resist? 70%? Wow, his, his resistances must be terrible baseline. 10% on bleed. Uh, she can only hit him. Maybe bandage? Nah, just kill him. Obliterated. We're getting an awful lot of crits. We don't even have a jester. Stun him. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require yeah, just get him. only the strength to follow it. One health left. Antiquarian, finish it. Antiquarian, finish it. Antiquarian, finish it. Thank you. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. They did it. Now you open the chest with a key. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. That was awfully disappointing loot for using a key with an antiquarian. Also, how is our inventory already full? Deeds? Nah. We need busts, and we need crests, and we need money. Not so much anything else. That I can think of. I mean, maybe if a really cool trinket dropped, but unless we fight a shambler, I doubt it. See, if she's in the front. Wealth beyond measure. I didn't even think about Awarded that. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Every, everything she does works from the front. And everything he does works from the front, too. That could actually work. Now it's impossible. I have the to activate the Curios. The of safety. With the Antiquarian. There's, like, no scouting unless we have a Houndsmaster or a Bounty Hunter. Uh, six up, five down. Let's go down. It's Torch. If we start running that Sun Ring, we're definitely going to need to bring more than one stack of torches. Eat one food? Why one food? I didn't notice. Warren Swope's Stress Eater. Oh, because his stress is above 50. Okay. So we need to get his stress under 50. He just needs to use that ability one time. 
carelessness will find no clemency in Two this times place. before we can. I didn't realize he was a stress eater. Surprise! Check me. Buffs. Stuns on the thing that can disease. Then you can one shot the stress person and the healer. Heals are important. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna need you to kill your stress. 56. Spear piercing. We're just gonna take a few turns off to fix him. If only you worked from there. Really? He's guarding the maggot? Hit him then. I guess they could blight, but... The blight does... It's only two damage per round, but six damage total. I mean, I guess it stacks up. You should please move back one. Twenty-one. Surges as the enemy crumbles. She had an eighteen percent crit chance that time. I'm just surprised at all the crit she's getting. Stress eater removed. That stacks. All oh, right, but I think uh, protection stops giving you benefits above eighty percent. Yeah, because it says his buff is eighty percent down there. It's impossible to have more than that. I think. Uh, Blight, because you're not going to do, like, any damage to him. 75% protection. Stun him. Oh, it's another chest. I didn't even notice. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Maybe we'll get neat things. She can't hit anyone in the front, so she's just going to keep critting. And you're going to keep removing your stress, so that it's not a problem. He does it so fast, too. If we had a Jester here as well, they could remove 25 a turn at this level together, because the Jester's 13 and he's 12. Keep the light up. I should probably should have killed the Maggot. But we will keep the Maggot stunned. I'm glad that worked. He has 70% resistance, so... Not exactly guaranteed. Only three, but it does have 50% protection. 28. And now the protection's back up to 80 again for whatever reason. You really need to use Protect Me again, actually. He takes basically no damage. 10 crit. Singular strike. And be even with two stacks of the Antiquarian's Blight, it's not enough. It's going to resist. Hey, we got extra torches from two different people in this party. So he's ignorable now, and we can just chop this guy. Continue the onslaught. Destroy Five damage to a maggot with full protection. That's crazy. Now we can... It's going to die anyway. So let's see if we can get more stress relief off or a bit of healing or something. Heal everybody. That way we're even healthier for the next battle heals. I think our torch is... Yeah, we're pretty radiant right now. Death by inches. Key! Let's just find a secret room after this. Busts and crests! They're being considerate now. Locking down there. Not being able to find traps. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. We are surprising them an awful lot today, though. Why can't you hit anyone in the back? We'll kill the healer first. His stress is managed. Impressive. 21. Actually, he was stunned. We should have hit the frothing madman. Unfortunate. Hindsight 2020. 13 and 14. I'm liking his accuracy. It's been pretty good lately. Granted, they have very little dodge. Wow, they would have hit him really hard. Awesome. It single targeted the guy that can easily handle stress. It's crazy that he can 
Buff his protections, remove so much stress, and heal while increasing all of his resistances so much. Wow, they're really focusing him. I mean, I guess guarded. They're probably trying to attack the Antiquarian. Three. Probably should have directly healed him. He's just so good at taking care of himself, I always forget. Twelve. And... Oh, they're pretty toast, so just hit that guy, I guess. You can fix your stress, because they can fix your everything. Oh, no, just kill them. Kill them? Yeah, just kill them. It'd be better than letting them hit us again. Because now he's stunned, and we can go through our thing again. He already got to go, so... Yeah, I knew you wouldn't do two damage. Uh, stress heal. And direct heal. And direct heal. And he does. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Medicinal herbs is pretty cool. I think we're just gonna eat the food though. Busts, 500. This is also 500. But this can only stack up to four gems, I think, so this caps out at a thousand. This caps out at 2,000. I like the sound of that better. Actually, our gold caps out at 2,000 too. That's cool. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Oh, another treasure room. I really wasn't expecting this many treasure chests here. There usually isn't that many. I, I know it's a long mission. But in the cove? Like, the ruins has tons of uses for keys. No, they got to go first. Get him. A powerful blow. Blood in the mud. Stun that one. And that one's stunned, so shoot that one. Was hoping for a one shot. Protect her. Barnacle barrier. Oh, looks like I know who we're stunning next time. Not over 50 yet. So stun him. Ooh, he dodged with a 9 dodge. Uh, get him. Friend for the old gods, but you can't. It's cool that that works like that. I wasn't thinking that it would. I mean, like... I don't know what I meant. Bang! I was going somewhere with that, but I lost it. Eight and three. I was thinking that it might just clear her mark, I think I meant. Because they couldn't attack her. 21, so he's definitely... Why are you giving up? You could survive pretty much anything. This whole place could cave in and you'd just be like, withstand. Eight. Why are you bleeding so much? I guess I did bring band-aids. Wow, you cannot hit with that. Is your accuracy, like, really low with it or something? 95, so I guess there is a baseline, like, an extra 5% added onto her mischance. You're going to need to directly attack. Three damage. A little disappointing, but with 75% reduced, it would have been 12. Damage, accuracy, and crit. I wish we had a 25% damage buff, damn. Wait, the Plague Doctor. But it doesn't give you the accuracy and crit. So you really need to stun him. And now we can shoot the healer. You can... It is in place for the other person to hit him. Start, start reducing your stress. We need to get our stress down. Under 55. 
one. Not what I expected. His protection should be wearing off soon, though. Direct healing. I wish that could be hair. Let's stand again. And he goes, but he's stunned. Let's just mark him. This is going to take a while. That reduces his dodge. Which also works really well with this guy. And now she can't hit him. So I guess you're on healer duty. Admittedly not having as many times to use that as blind fire, I guess. Uh, reduces accuracy. And heal everybody. You're under half, so yeah. Especially since she can't hit him anymore. Their protections are crazy high, even on veteran. How about you stun him? Yeah, that was pretty reliable. Crit 12. Which removed even more stress. I should have been having you blight. Why did I stab this guy like twice? Crit 18, that's what I was waiting for. Brain in the forest. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. This is worth more to me than this salve stuff. 10% stress until camp. I don't know what gave him that until camp, but now it's gone. And with the antiquarian, we will open this chest. But it's trapped. And so we scout. We only have to do room battles, which means we don't have to go this way. So I'll head back over this way, and we can start over there next time. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you liked it. Later, everybody.